Fox News site. And hello again from Fox News in Washington. NSA leaker Edward Snowden is on the move today. With the U.S. seeking Snowden's extradition, Hong Kong authorities allowed him to leave the country, reportedly on a flight to Moscow. And Russian news agencies say he's booked on a flight from Moscow to Cuba on Monday. Joining us now to discuss the Snowden case and the split inside the GOP over immigration reform are two leading Republicans. Senator Lindsey Graham is a member of the Gang of Eight that is leading the push for reform. Senator Mike Lee opposes the legislation, and he is the author of a new e-book, Why John Roberts Was Wrong About Health Care. We should also point out both are members of the Senate Armed Services Committee. Gentlemen, let's start with Edward Snowden. Uh, Senator Graham, what do you make of Hong Kong, <coughs> excuse me, Hong Kong authorities allowing Snowden to go? They say that our extradition papers were not in full compliance with their law. And what leverage do we have over Moscow if they decide to let him go to another country? Well, I'd like to find out why our papers were not in compliance. Uh, that would be a big mistake by the Department of Justice. Uh, I, I don't think he's a uh, hero. I believe he hurt our nation. He compromised a national security program designed to find out what terrorists were up to. So the Freedom Trail is not exactly China, Russia, Cuba, Venezuela. So I hope we'll chase him to the ends of the earth, bring him to justice, and let the Russians know there will be consequences if they harbor this guy. Well, I was going to ask you about that because the key decision over the next 24 hours has to be made by Moscow, Senator Graham. Should we put right, pressure on them right. right now? Hold them there. Absolutely. They, if they want to be part of the world community, the WTO, they want a good relationship with the United States, they should hold this felon and send him back home for justice. Senator Lee, are we basically helpless here as Ed Snowden thumbs his nose at the United States with the help of the Chinese and now apparently with the help of the Russians? And what if he goes to another country, whether it's Cuba or Iceland or someplace in South America? Yeah, I don't know if I would use the word helpless, Chris, but uh, we are in a precarious position here. But I think Mr. Snowden is also, look, I've made no secret about the fact that I've got some concerns about much of what the NSA has been doing. But I think Mr. Snowden uh, is delusional if he thinks that uh, he's going to find a, a country with a better human rights record in, in Moscow or in Havana or in Caracas. Uh, I think he's in for a rude awakening if that's what he has in mind. So what does it tell you if Ed Snowden is headed to one of those countries rather than the U.S.? Uh, it tells me that if he's looking for a place with a better human rights record than the United States, he's certainly not going to find it in any of those countries. All right, gentlemen, let's turn to immigration right. reform, which is the reason we invited you here in the first place. With the